What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be testing out the new quarter inch Mac Impact MCF 901. Mac claims it's got 71 foot pounds of breakaway torque. I don't know, but today we're gonna to put it to the test. So let's go. So we're gonna be testing out the Mac 12 volt brushless quarter inch impact gun, as you can see here, MCF 901. We got her set to all the beans. She's got full blast and we got a fully charged battery. So what I'm gonna do is, Mac claims this gun will do 71 foot pounds. So we're gonna see if it can. We're gonna start out here at 50, 60, and 70. What I've got here is just a, a bolt welded from the backside on this old flywheel plate. And I just put a spacer in there with a washer. I'm gonna run these down hand tight. We'll torque them to 50, 60, and this one will be at 70. And if it can do it, then we'll move to a larger bolt and see what we can get out of it. All right, guys, before we begin this test, if you're wearing headphones, let this be your warning. It's going to be loud. It's an impact. Impacts make noise when it's impacting. That's its job. It's a metal flywheel with metal bolts on a metal vise on a metal table with a bunch of metal crap on it. It's gonna be loud. So be prepared if you're wearing headphones, turn it down. So as you can see here, I've got my torque wrench. That's 20. 30, 40, and 50. So we'll torque the first one at 50 foot pounds. This one will be at 60 foot pounds. This one will be at 70. That's one pound shy of what Mac claims that it can do. Might not be able to get it out of that bolt. I don't think we will, I think. No big deal. We got another one right here that we'll do. Sure. And this is just a bolt run through there with a nut on it. So we'll set it at 70. And that'll be the one that should max the gun out according to max specs. All right, as you can see, Mac's website clearly shows max torque is 71 foot-pounds on breakaway torque. Let's see. We'll see. So, let's see what it'll do. So it's 50, 60, and this one's 70. We got our gun in reverse. There's 50, no big deal. There's 60, no big deal. Chain socket for the 70. I will have to put an adapter on it. I don't have a quarter inch socket that big. So this is 70. This is what Matt claims is the max torque. And it did it no square. So let me back it back up so I can show you. So we will have to use the same bolt. So now, obviously it's not hot. You see I'm touching it. So we're gonna crank this up. We'll go to 80 and just see if Mac can do the 80.
no big deal. All right, so it's impressed me so far. Let's take it up to 90 because it didn't even struggle with that. 90 foot pounds. Get a bigger torque range. Pretty impressive. All right, so we're gonna crank her on up to 100. That's the max of this torque wrench. Pretty impressive for a quarter inch. It's rated at 71 foot pounds, I must say. digital torque wrench for when we go up a little bit higher and let's see what she'll do all right so we just did 100 we've got our digital torque wrench out now i'm gonna crank this thing up to 110 as you can see i am super impressed by that little gun very impressive Very impressive. Under the pin was a no problem. Let's go up to 120. We will eventually find the end. 120 was no sweat. Go up to 130. Let's do 140. 140. Just gonna spin. So now we're trying twice, double what Matt claims that it can do. Because they said 71 was the max claim torque. And we're at 140. No problem. Bolt's not hot. The socket's not hot. It's not having to work. It's not laboring to do it. So let's try 150. See what happens. I figure we'll strip the bolt out. Very impressive. No problem. Didn't really labor. Still no heat at all. So let's go for 160. Like we're getting into the areas now where you can take your tire off with a quarter inch impact gun. Very impressive, Matt. You guys have done a good job. All right, so it worked a little. 
at 170. Still no heat at all. It only hammered a couple of seconds. So that's 160. 170. Might get a bigger bolt. Let's try 180. I think we're gonna max her bolt out more than likely. One hundred and eighty foot pounds out of a quarter inch gun that's rated for seventy one. but it did it. No heat. Let's try one more. Let's just go for it. This is 190. I know somebody's gonna fuss about the heat and the bolt, but hey, it's a quarter inch that's rated for 71 foot pounds. And we're fixing to try 190 if we can get it out of the bolt. It's gonna lock. All right, that was 15 seconds of hammering on it. And uh, obviously the socket's warm at this point. We're gonna give it one more 15 second burst or a couple of seconds. I don't know if I'm running 15 because it's <laughs> brand spanking new impact, but let's see. It did it. Now I don't mean she likes it, but she did it. So I know it's hot. I know the gun's hot. I know the battery's hot. I know the socket's hot. I know the adapter's hot. I know the bolt's hot. I know that's hot. I know I'm hot, but I'm gonna do 200. Whether the bolt will take it or the gun will do it, we're gonna try it for 200. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know what we fixing to know. 206.4. I know it's hot. I'm hot too. We're just doing this for fun now because we didn't, we didn't know Mac got it right by far. So. about 15 seconds. So I'm gonna wait like I did. 200 foot pounds, guys, out of a quarter inch impact. It shouldn't be anywhere close to that. But it did. So, still full battery. An impressive little gun, I must say. Let me turn it where y'all can see the writing. I know, before somebody leaves it in the comments, the bolt's hot, the thread's hot, it makes it easier. It's still 200 foot-pounds with a quarter-inch impact. I wish that I had more bolts ready, but honestly, I wasn't expecting it to do much over 70. Like, I figured 75, and then it gave us the ghost, 
but she's still cheating. So I'm gonna cheat with her because I'm hot. You see me sweating. It's hot. It's sweating too. The impact's sweating. We're gonna do 210. We'll break the bolt. We'll break the impact. I don't know. But we're fixing to know. Because everybody wants to know. Two thirteen exactly on the Torcada wrench, darling. If you can't do this, you've still been impressive today. I figure this is probably going to be a failure, so I'm kind of stand back. Because when I get hot, I need to take a break. And it gives me a little strength. So I think the gun's the same way. It deserves a little bit of break. We're going to do it just like we did a while ago. We're going to try it again. See if it'll do it. If it don't, it's still far exceeded the 71 foot-pounds that Mac rated these at. I hear a lot of people talking about the Mac guns, the same as the DeWalt, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I'm not paid by Mac. I'm not paid by DeWalt. I didn't get this gun for free. They didn't send it to me. I bought it with my own money. I do know that the red case is supposed to be chemical resistant. And if you look in here, they put these neat little screen things in here on the Mac guns that the DeWalt's don't have. And that's supposed to be to keep debris and crap like that out. I don't know. I don't work for them. I don't work for Stanley Black & Decker. I don't work for Mac. I don't work for DeWalt. I don't work at a store that sells crap. I bought it off the truck with my own money and I'm tearing it up with my own time. So we're even, right? 213 foot pounds. Try number two. Still not knocking it. It's still a bad little impact. It's strong. It's impressive. It's light. It's not expensive. I mean, when you look at the other impacts on the market, very impressive little impact. I think we got one. No, we got 200 out of it. And then we bumped it up to 210, which ultimately led to me over torquing it to 213, where it failed. Granted, it don't like it, but it did it. So this little Mac impact gun, MCF 901, brushless 12 volt, still full of battery. I like it. It's a good impact. The light weight of this impact is what really sells it. I like the lights on it. You can see it tried, but Mac rated it 71 and we got 200. I'm gonna try it one more time, just because that's the kind of guy I am. She did way more than 71. That's my video, guys, today. Go get you one of these MCF 901 12 volt impact kits from your Mac dealer or MacTools.com. Once again, not sponsored, not paid, not given to me, not sent to me. I paid for it with my own money. And that's that. But uh, like always, guys, thank y'all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. It's free. Unlike this impact, it's free. And if you liked the video, click that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, it don't cost you a dime. Unlike this impact, it costs money. But you can see it's a bad little bitch. It's well worth the money. All right, guys, I got to go. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.